Hey, what's up guys and welcome to another episode of Game Tracks. This is a channel that I dedicate towards video game music and the composers that create them. Today we're going to be talking about Contra Horror Corps for the Sega Genesis. So first things first, the title is so appropriate for this game because this game is tough as nails. It is extremely difficult. It's not for the faint of heart. It's definitely for the hardcore gamer or someone who doesn't give up easily. Now, the soundtrack is freaking incredible. You can tell that Konami was really trying to compete with Gunstar Heroes just because of the way this game was made, the way that it looked, how fast paced it was. It was just nuts. The whole game just went crazy on you. In my opinion, it was definitely better in terms of overall craziness compared to the Super Nintendo version. Now, the Super Nintendo version was a lot more finesse, but this version was just, it was nuts. It's like they just had a lot of fun trying to create it and making it a crazy game. Now, the soundtrack, it's sporadic. I mean, it really does have super fast tones. They try to add samples, which you know this game is for Sega Genesis, so with samples, especially voice samples and stuff like that, they're typically terrible quality, but it didn't stop them from being ambitious and trying to make the soundtrack as best as it possibly could be. You know, I've never beaten this game. I actually tried a lot back in the day, but I just, I didn't have the patience for it, and it just, some of the stages were just too difficult. I found out later on that the Japanese version of the game was a lot easier, which was weird because typically it's the other way around. The games that come out in America are typically easier than the ones that come out on the West. But, I mean, this game was, it was a lot easier and that was still too hard for me. Like, I mean, cause you get hit a couple of times and you die. And on the American release, you get hit once and you die and it's over and you gotta start all over again. But once again, we're not here to talk about the game. We're here to talk about the soundtrack itself. So without further ado, I bring to you Contra Hard Corps for the Sega Genesis. Hope you guys enjoy. Contra Hard Corps was released in 1994 for the Sega Genesis. Michiru Yumane, Akira Yamaoka, Aka Hata, Hiroshi Kobayashi, and Hirofumi Tanaguchi were the team of composers that created this incredible soundtrack. Just about every track in this game was extremely high energy and designed to get you pumped. It was top notch and really showed off what the Sega Genesis hardware could do in the graphics department and in the sound department. The Hard Corps. This was the first stage and this intro track was perfect. It was pumped full of bass and tons of cool samples that just screamed early 90s. It gave that heroic vibe, but it also had the edginess that made you feel like a badass. Excellent track. JB303. This was the sub-boss theme and man was it frantic. It was one of the shorter tracks, but most of the sub-boss fights didn't last very long anyway, so it made sense. I just love how it seemed like the composers just went wild with these tracks. So much energy.
Jurassic Dope. This is another one of those tracks that just screams early 90s. A lot of samples and sound effects just feel super nostalgic. It even gave off a very space age feel, and of course, it was a banger. Such a unique track, which is why I had to add it to this list. The Harcorps Blues, my personal favorite. I absolutely love this track, and you can probably already tell it sounds like something you would hear during the end credits, and it is. With as hard as this game is, this track is well deserved and it truly does sound like you've basically saved the world and you're ready for a break. Enjoy this one. Okay guys, that was my Contra Hardcorps episode for the Sega Genesis. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys liked the tracks that I chose. And if you did, then feel free to hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and also hit that notification bell so that you can receive updates whenever I update new episodes. Uh, once again, I'd really like to thank you guys for watching. I appreciate the support. And I hope you guys have an awesome week. Thank you.